guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've all been doing well. Today I wanted to jump on and show you some new items I got in a little haul. I got some items from Ulta, um, one thing from Sephora. Actually, I'm going to include two things. Okay, I guess I've already used these two things, but I just wanted to put them in there just because I'm obsessed. So let's go ahead and get started. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see what I got in my haul, then keep on watching. Okay, so Ulta has had some really good clearance events going on lately. Um, so I got some items at 90% off, which is awesome. So I didn't go insanely crazy, but I did get some new products from NYX, which were some lip products. Um, I got some of the soft matte lip creams. The shades were really cute. The shade selection was awesome, and it's some that I love wearing. Some of them, I guess, might be considered a little bit more on the summer side, but I feel like if you can make it work, you can make them work all year round. I don't think it really matters. So let's get started with those. I'll go ahead and swatch them on my hand for you guys just so you can see them. Okay, so to get started, I wanted to show you the new NYX lip products that I got. So there were two lip liners that I got. They were the shade Cypress, and this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. So there's Cypress, which is right there. It's like a really light almost on the peachier side color. I think it would be really nice to use for any of my nudes, um, nudes, haha, <laughs> lol, my nude lip colors, and just like to go underneath a gloss I thought would be really pretty. The second one I got is the Kyoto. It's also a NYX suede matte lip liner. Now this one is a little bit deeper. There honestly look very similar just one's more deeper than the other so this one's the Kyoto one I really like these I don't have too many lip liners but I was in the market to get some more so I decided to grab these two the other lipsticks that I got are the NYX soft matte lip creams I actually had one of these that I bought like maybe two years ago um, and I actually re recently just tossed it because it was just super old and pretty much gone anyway and I can't remember the name of it. I don't know why I can't remember it. Hold on. It's in my trash bag. Stockholm it is. I really liked that, and I decided to pick up more. Um, I wore one all day at work today, and it stayed on great. It was super comfortable, so my lips didn't feel dry or anything. I really don't have any. I just have chapstick on right now, maybe leftover lipstick on from work but I literally just got done working and I wanted to pop on here and show you some goodies so this is in the shade Kyoto so very similar it's the same thing as this liner so I'll just go ahead and swatch that next to it so that is Kyoto absolutely gorgeous the next shade is called Shanghai and Shanghai is the shade right here as you can see it's a bit deeper um, and this is going to be a beautiful beautiful shade of transition from summer into fall you still have your really nice pink and a really nice kind of mauvey color but it is a little bit deeper than the Kyoto one and I don't know super pretty and then the next shade is Cypress so Cypress was the first liner that I swatched so I'll go ahead and swatch Cypress right next to that one it's definitely more on the pinkier side than Kyoto. Kyoto, I guess what I would say, has more of like a peach, um, peachiness to it. Also, I'm not on the floor anymore, you guys. I finally got a desk or vanity or whatever you want to call it, and I feel like a brand new person. I feel so much more organized. I feel so happy. It makes me so excited to do my makeup, so I just want to put that in there. But the next shade that I got is the shade that I was wearing today. It's called Too Loose, and I got a bunch of compliments on this today, so I was super excited about it. But this is a beautiful shade for fall and winter. It just keeps with those nice mauves, but it's like still got that pinkness to it, and you still feel happy. And it, I really liked it. It's got almost like a brown, purpley undertone to it, so I thought that was really nice. That's it, Too Loose. The next shade is called San Francisco, and it's right here. I'm excited to swatch this one. A lot of these I haven't swatched, so it's really fun to see. As you can see, these are all kind of in the same, like, mauve pink 
nude range. I just love the undertones. I love the different undertones in all of them. So that one is San Francisco. This one has more of like an orangey undertone to it. Orangey brown. The last NYX lippy that I have is called Montreal. And it's the shade right here. All right, and here it is. It's definitely the rosier of all of them. If you're really looking for something rosy and you love that, then I would definitely recommend the shade Montreal. So the other two lips that I got are both from Lorac, and these were also in the sale items. The first one is called Muse. So that is Muse. So they seem pretty pigmented. And I really like this one. It's more on like the purplier side. And then the other one is called Dominatrix. And this one's going to be, these are both are really nice for fall, but this one's going to be really nice for fall and winter. This one is definitely more on the plum side. So yeah, those are the two lip glosses that I got. The other two items I got from the sale are the Sally Hansen um, gel polishes where you need an LED light for them. I absolutely love these polishes. They last really long and they're really shiny and pretty. And I currently have a shade on my fingers today. I think it's called Mango. But yeah, when I saw these were on sale, I definitely picked them up. And then the last item is the Back to School Hair Survival Kit by Batiste. I've never tried Batiste dry shampoo, but I figured I'd give it a whirl with since it was on sale. You get the Floral and Flirty Blush Scent Clean and Classic Original and the Coconut and Exotic Tropical, and you get three in a pack. That wraps up the sale items that I got from Ulta. Um, I did grab some other items today which were not on sale, so I want to go ahead and show you those. First two items in here are going to be the some nice cotton rounds. Not very exciting and or interesting. I just used these a lot and I figured while I was there I might as well pick some up. Next item I got is the Real Techniques um, sponges. I used to use these a lot and I haven't used them in a while and I really need a new sponge. I've been using the Beauty Blender but I kind of wanted to go back to these and see what I liked more. So I picked these up um, and yeah they were two for like seven, eight bucks or something. I think they might have been on sale. They were on sale. I also picked up the limited edition Real Techniques Brush Crush in 300 powder. Um, I don't know, I'll probably use this for bronzer because it looks real nice for that, but I couldn't resist it. It looked really cute and these are on sale at Ulta right now. Next items I got is I got the NYX Professional Makeup Foil Play Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Smart Mouth. And it's like a kind of like magenta foiled shade. I can't wait to try this out. I'm using a ColourPop shade on my eyes today called Weenie and I really liked it. It was really easy. That's the only shadow I have on today and I saw these NYX ones and I really wanted to give them a try and see what they were like. The consistency definitely feels like a cream and there it is swatched. Super pretty. It almost has like silvery gold undertone. I really like it. So excited to use that. The other two items I got is I haven't tried out any Essence Mascara yet and since I'm on a huge mascara kick right now I figured I'd try it up. You can't go wrong with the price. I think it's like four bucks or something and then I also paired it with the lash primer which is $4.99 right now. But I went with the Get Big Lashes Volume Curl Mascara because it is a lifting mascara and I don't have any curl to my lashes. I have length, but I don't have curl. So I wanted to grab this and give it a go. There's the brush on it. Super fat. Looks super good. So excited to try that out. Also, this is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. Super volume with super fruits. It has acai oil and mango butter in it as well. And that's what it looks like. Smells delicious. The last thing I got from Ulta is the It Cosmetics Cheek Velvet Luxe Brush. I actually got this during um, the Beauty Steal for 21 Days of Beauty, so I got this bad boy. 
Um, and I'm super excited to try it out. I almost don't even want to take it out of the packaging right now. It's just super fluffy and beautiful, but for the sake of this video, I will take it out of the packaging. But yeah, it's so soft. I'm going to use this for like highlight or blush or bronzer, anything like that. And I think it'll be awesome. And it's giant. And this is my NYX. So this is the brush I always use for highlighting from NYX. As you can see, it's like really thick. But look at the difference there. That's wild. So super excited to use this one. I think I'll, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Yeah, but it looks cool. That's pretty much it from Ulta. I have... Two things that I got from Sephora that I've used, one, they're both really brand new and they're from Milk Makeup. This is my first time trying Milk Makeup and this is the Kush Mascara that I got and I tried it once and I really like it so I'm excited to just keep playing around with it and keep using it and see how I continue to like it. And it's really heavy. And then the next thing I got is the Milk Makeup Gel Brow and this is in the shade Pilsner. I think this is in the shade Pilsner. Anyway, it glides on so nice, and it has a um, an end, a brush on the end. Um, you do need a sharpener with it, but I don't care. I really like this because I have to put no pressure on my brows. It doesn't pull out my brow hair, and it doesn't tug on my skin, so this was a definite win for me. So I've been loving this, but yeah, these are both pretty brand new. I've just been using them. I've used the mascara once, and I've been using this for like a week, so just wanted to put those in there. The last thing that I just got is the Gino & Co. Microfiber Velvet Sponge. I saw Kathleen Lights use this on her channel, and I was really interested in it to see what it was like. So I think maybe I will film a tutorial using it and give you my thoughts on it. But the packaging is really cute. It took forever to get to me. It took forever. So, yeah, shipping took a while. It... Is made with like a, a microfiber, so that's kind of interesting. But I'll go ahead and open it just to show you guys. Comes with a little information package on how to clean. Okay, so like right off the bat, it just, it's weird. I mean, it feels like spongy. And there's like a little dot here, but I'm guessing that's where they connect the fabric on the bottom. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see when I get it wet and use it on my face. It's really soft. But yeah, once again, I have to try this out. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. And I also got free shipping on it. It's $6 for the sponge, and it was free shipping. Because I think I had like a code if you sign up your email. So I recommend doing that and trying it out. I mean, for 6 bucks, Can't go wrong. But yeah, I'll be using it. It's cruelty-free and latex free as well. Thank you so much for checking out my haul and everything that I got. Please stay tuned for some more videos coming up on my channel. I do have a list of some things that I'd like to do. As I say in every video lately, I don't film on a regular schedule, but just subscribe to me and turn on the notification bell. That way you get notifications of when I do upload. Be sure to follow me on social media. I will link that down below. My handle is Leah, L-E-A-X, Jane, J-A-N-E. So follow me there. I have Instagram and Instagram. So that's about it. I don't do Twitter at the moment. Or, I mean, I used to. I don't even know. I can't even log in right now. I don't remember I log in. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.